Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new Pokemon TC Live Temporal Forces deck video. And today's episode of Bad Deck Friday is going to be on the brand new Wug Trio EX, which has a really cool snipe attack here with Tricolor Pump, which for one water energy allows you to discard three energy cards from your hand, and then you get to do 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each energy discarded in this way. So if you use the attack, you can do 180 damage with that attack. Now, you do need to discard three energy, so in total, you do need four energy because you need to attach an energy to the Wug Trio. But sniping for 180 is not bad. That's killing, you know, set up Pokemon like Luminion V, Squawkabilly, uh, you're not going to Mew. One nice thing about Wug Trio is it is a Lightning-type Pokemon. Due to it being a Terrestrial, you get a Lightning-type, which is fantastic. That is great against Palkia, Pidgeot, and against Lugia V-Star. So you have great typing, and that is one thing I do like about it. And just being able to snipe stuff can be nice. You can finish stuff off that you set up earlier on in the game. You can set stuff up to be KO'd. Now, I've decided to pair Wug Trio with Palkia today. I think this is probably the best way to play Wug Trio. Thought about other builds of Wug Trio. I even tried it with like a Lost Zone Engine deck. Obviously a bit more of a pile. Didn't really work. So I think the best way to play Wug Trio is just going to be flat out with Palkia. Palkia is a water Pokemon. It synergizes nicely within this deck. And it's a great attacker with subspace well. Um, doing 60 plus 20 more damage for each of your bench Pokemon. The downside of Palkia. We of course did lose Melanie and Battle VIP. Which are actually kind of relevant losses for this deck. Especially Melanie and even Rhyhon rotated. So we don't really have a great way to accelerate energy to our Palkia. But we do have that V-Star Power Star Portal. And like I said, Palkia just being a really nice big beat stick attacker, I think is the perfect partner for Wug Trio. There isn't really any other Pokemon I could think of to play. Like I thought about maybe Wug Trio with like a Bax Calibur deck, I guess, like as a one of in Shempow. But I feel like just play the one prize Kyogre at that point is basically the same thing. So I just decided probably want to play Wug Trio with another big attacker. And I decided Palkia is probably the one that fits the shoe the best. Now we are playing some superior energy retrievals as a way to get energy in our hand for Wug Trio. And uh, we got two Canceling Clone. Manaphy does stop Wug Trio's attack. And what we can do is we can play Canceling Clone, um, gust the Manaphy up, and then use Wug Trio's attacks. We are going to play two Clone. We got the boss, we got the counter catcher, and we got the prime catcher in the deck. Prime catcher is a really good card with Radiant Greninja. So that's one thing I liked about it. But yeah, before we get into the video, shout out to the sponsor card, Kevin TCG. Of course, if you're going to get any Pokemon TCG Live packouts, make sure to get them over at Card Cavern. If you're looking to get any Temporal Forces set coats or an older set or some IRL singles and product card cabin sells all that over there if you get anything at card cabin at the checkout use my discount code code ldf for a five percent discount on your order help the channel help yourself out and up our card cabin so big shout out to card cavern check them out use code ldf link down below also check out my second channel down below i've uploaded a lot of euic content over on the second channel we're on the road to 13,000 subs on the second channel so if you haven't subbed to it yet make sure to go subscribe down below and check out some of the content i posted over there recently like the euic tier list and even some decks that are uh, winning in the online tournament scene right now. So yeah, this is my Wug Trio Palkia deck I have cooked up for today's video. Um, we are playing 3-3 Palkia, mainly because it is like the main attacker of the deck. Wug Trio is a good attacker, but it's not our main attacker. Wug Trio doesn't do enough damage. It just doesn't do enough. So I think you probably want to play a heavier kind of Palkia. Also, losing Battle VIP Pass slows this deck down. One thing Palkia loved in the past format was Battle VIP. You could have used Irida to get Battle VIP to get your Palkia. So we're going to play a heavier kind of Palkia. We got the four Nest Balls, the four Ultra Balls to help us find our Pokemon. I'm also playing one Buddy Poffin, um, mainly because you can use Buddy Buddy Poffin to grab your Bidoofs, grab your Wigglets. Um, we got some other interesting cards I do need to talk about, I guess, that stand out. The one main card you're looking at is the Giovanni's Charisma. Yes, you heard right. This is in this deck. Actually, it's actually pretty good with Palkia and Radiant Greninja. So after you've done Star, or Star Portal, later on in the game, you might not be able to build up your Palkia. You can't use the supporter Melanie anymore to get energy on your Palkia. So you have to attach, attach to Palkia twice, and sometimes you can't do that. Well, if you have Giovanni's Charisma in hand, if you have Vessel, Superior Retrieval or just two energy, you can Giovanni's Charisma to get an energy onto your active Palkia and attach for turn to build up Palkia in a single turn. It is the poor man's Melanie, but it is the best alternate option we got right now in the standard format, so I had to go with it. You can also use Giovanni with Radiant Greninja. If you have an energy on Radiant Greninja at any point in the game, you can Giovanni and attach to Greninja to attack with Greninja out of nowhere. So there's actually a lot of value you can get with Giovanni, not just with Palkia, but even with Radiant Greninja. And then finally, we are playing the one prize Wug Trio. It's mainly just here for uh, control. Essentially, against control, you can like Star Portal or Power Up Wug Trio, and you can just spam Undersea Tunnel. You can use Headbutt against Mimikyu um, as an option too. It's just here for the control matchup. That's pretty much why we're playing it. If you don't want to tech for control, just cut the Wug Trio out of the deck, play another supporter or something, or an 11th energy or a third retrieval. You could go down that route. 
Uh, I'm playing Team Devo because Charizard is hard. I mean, Charizard is a very annoying deck, and this deck probably struggles against Charizard if we did not play a Technical Machine Devolution. So we're going to be playing a Technical Machine Devolution to make this hard matchup a little bit easier. Also, again, Shen Pao, one of your objectives could just be to chase their back Excaliburs down. You can just knock them out with Prime Catcher, Boss, Counter Catcher, Team Devo it, and you can snipe it with Wug Trio. So you have a lot of options against Shen Pao. So I like the Team Devo in the deck. Um, let's go drop the Wug Trio in action and uh, hopefully get some dubs with some Wugs. Okay, we're against Lugia. I really need to get, like, a Palkia here or something. Dude, you're giving me all my evolutions. You can't give me a basic, bro? Come on. Dude, I swear, if I don't get anything, I mean, I'll take it. Something. Keep the water around, I guess, for next turn. Yeah, I was going to say, dude, if I didn't get a basic there, that would have been, been tragic. How are you, how you not going to give me a basic? So, this matchup actually doesn't seem terrible. If we can use we can use Greninja and Wugtrio. Greninja can kill the Minchinos, Wugtrio can kill the Lugias. And it can snipe Archeops. So, there is some interesting plays we can make in this matchup. I'm not sure if it's great, though, because if Lugia just sets up, they just kind of Ooga Booga run me over because Archeops and Sinchino are disgusting. So, we have to be very mindful of that. We'll see what they got, though. I could Cypher Maniac here. Oh, they have a research. Only one Archaeops gets discarded. Nah, we're definitely going to Iono then. Looking like an Iono angle. For sure. If my opponent's going research, definitely do an Iono. I need basics. It's really annoying we got all these evolutions. But not the basics. This would have been way better if that was double Bidoof. Oh, they got the double Archaeops. No. Okay, well, if they grab another Minchino here, we can Greninja it. That's the plan. We're going to Iono most likely. If they grab a Lugia V-Star here, we can Iono... I think about Lugia V. Okay, we're not really KOing this, so it's not really a big deal. The Lugia V ain't dying. Because we're going to save it for the Wug Trio. I mean, they just kind of have a nutty start, though, which is the annoying thing. Maybe I don't Iono. I don't know. I mean, if Lugia, I mean, Lugia V Star gets turned to double Archeops, it's just like, it's such, it sucks, bro. It just actually is demoralizing. It's demoralizing. <laughs> I don't know if I want to Iono, to be honest. I mean, I kind of have to because I need to draw more cards. I don't know. I don't want them to just get the V-Star here. They only got one Minchino. Okay, why, why Why? is my hand all duplicates, bro? Why do I have two Palkias, two Ionos? What the heck? Okay, that's not bad. Is there something in the prizes? There is nothing in the prizes. Super odd retrieval, not great. Hmm. A little awkward. All right, we need to get an energy. I'm down to just do this. I'm still down to Greninja here, but we'll see what we got off this. Nice. It's pretty good. We got two energy, which is good. Uh, we'll Ultra Ball. Grab Bibberol for next turn. This kind of bait, but like, I want to get the energy in play, so. I want to make sure I'm, like, attaching energy and stuff. Staying ahead in the attachment race. Go 90 here. 90 on the Minchino. Just want to kill their, their Chinchilla. So. Knock that out. I mean, they probably have Lugia V-Star boss in hand. So, it's like, they're probably going to kill my Bidoof. But I kind of wanted to get the Bibberl there. Because, like, I, I need to. I want to I want to get max value out of my Star Portal. And I want to make sure I get energy in play. Because, again, we no longer have Melanie in the format. So, we have to be very mindful with where we put our energies. That's why we got to be a little cautious of that. Um, Hopefully, we can Wug Trio next turn. I mean, worst comes to worst, we can try to kill Lugia with Palkia. We'll see what's up. We got Eared out the prizes, which is good. We can get an Earthen Vessel if worst comes to worst. What I really want to do, though, is Wug Trio snipe an Archeops. That would be nice. Being able to kill an Archeops here would also be really good. We'll see what's up. Yeah, Kion and Archeops would be pretty good, too. It just sucks bro, when Lugia... Like I said, dude, it sucks when Lugia gets double Archeops. Because sometimes Lugia is a pile and doesn't get double Archeops. But in my opponent's case, they easily found double Archeops turn one. You just hate to see it. It feels so bad. It actually sucks a lot. Are they going to attack with this thing? Oh, they're going to use Regenerative... What? They play Regenerative Energy? That's so bad. No. What? That's so bad. Bad. If they evolve, they're going to heal all the damage we do with Greninja. That's actually so bad. We're now going to have to go for the Wug Trio on the no for the knockout. No, the regenerative energy, bro. Come on. Now, now I can't kill with subspace swell. 
Dude, that actually just sucks, dude. It's really annoying. Do they have a Mancino? They have a Mancino here, bro. It's like, it's so bad. I don't see a Mancino. I mean, they had a Mancino. I could snipe it with Wug Trio, maybe. I just don't want them to get a... I just don't want to get them a I want them to get a Sinchino in play. And they had a Serena. Oh, they're actually... Okay, ah, that's fine. They're gusting my Palkia. Okay, I'm fine with that. That's fine. Honestly, with Giovanni in the deck, we can maybe save Greninja for later on in the game. I actually don't hate this. All right, sure. Should I grab Spirit Tomb so I can't go Luminion? Should I get another Palkia? Should I get another Wiglet, maybe? Should I get another Bidoof? Should probably get another Bidoof, to be honest. Okay. Uh, we'll do this. There is a Vessel in there, right? Yeah, okay, good. Could Prime Catcher here. Prime Catcher Vessel. Now let's do this. Well, I don't want to get rid of Giovanni's Charisma, though. Kind of want to keep it. Because I can use Greninja. Yeah, I'll get rid of this. I don't really want to bench a Palkia, because, like, if they just have another Gust here... Well, they are down to Serena. But, yeah, just in case. Okay, well, Bibber, we'll see what we got. Okay. I mean, they have a one-card hand. If that's a boss, you know what, so be it. Bro's got the better deck. Greninja, I'm looking for a Wug Trio at the very least. Nope. Okay, it's fine. The V-Guard energy is really annoying. We can kill with Greninja, though. Like I said, next turn, we can go, like... If I can, even if I can find, like, Superior Retrieval, we can, like, Retrieval Giovanni and then Moonlight Shuriken. We can kill Lugia V-Star and maybe potentially kill a Mancino. The Giovanni gives us a lot of outs here, but... I got no Retrievals in my hand. My hand's really clogged up, actually. I don't even know if I can play this Vacuum, because I doubt they're going to play a Stadium. It's actually not good. Capuchin Aroma. If that flips Tails, they got Plot Armor. <sighs> That's going to be a Luminion V, I imagine. Could get a Mincino, too. That's probably going to be Luminion. See, this is why I want to get Spirit Tomb. Because I'm like, if they have nothing in their hand, it's a great opportunity. But I feel like last turn they would have went... They would have serenaed for five if they had a dead hand. I feel like that one card is probably like an Iona or Research or something. Because I feel like they definitely would have... Yeah. Oh, my God. I should have got Spirit Tomb, bro. Another... So they're going to count my Palkia V on the bench, it looks like. They're playing three Serenas? That's crazy. All right, this isn't actually not honestly. This isn't even that bad. They still don't have a thing out yet. They still don't have a Mancino. Okay, I'm actually this isn't. I actually don't mind them doing this to be honest. I mean, I kind of want to get this guy out, but whatever. Hmm. They're down a lot of energy now. And this Lugia only does 180. This could be a good turn to go Wug Trio to be honest, because they can't kill Wug Trio. But the problem is, I'm not too sure I'm going to be doing any Wug Trios anytime soon. We could, um... Could Prime Catcher this guy, and then Greninja these two for four prizes? Actually, I actually don't hate that either. I definitely am going to be powering up Greninja this turn, I think. I think it's okay to KO Palkia here, because I didn't go Wug Trio. Okay, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll see what our top deck is. Nice. Pretty good. Hmm. All right, let's Irida. We do have Counter Catcher too. I could knock out the Luminion, and then I can just Greninja for game. If I get Walk Trio out, they can't really deal with it. I also noticed they can't bench more than one Mincino. So, like, do I just Counter Catcher the fish here? Knock out Luminion, and then next turn, just, like, Greninja potentially for game. Honestly, yeah, I'm kind of down. Hitting this for 90 isn't bad either. I'm kind of down to do this. Uh, we're going to Bibro for one. And then we'll play the Retrieval. Okay, cool. We have the potential, like, Giovanni play here, which is cool, so... I don't even really want to do Greninja. I don't even want to conceal because I want to keep the energies in my hand. So I'm just going to subspace well for the knockout. Keep the energy in the hand in case they... If they KO Greninja here, we can go for a different play where we can go Wug Trio. Okay, what do we got the prizes? Nice, let's go. Four energy in hand. That's not bad for Wug Trio. That means we can one-shot a Lugia. 
which is good. So basically what happens here is my opponent knocks out Palkia, and then I go Greninja, knock out Lugia, and Minchino. If they get two Minchinos, we KO two Minchinos. If they get one Minchino, then we can go Wugtrio, snipe Archeops. If they go one Minchino, or if they go double Minchino, KO Greninja, we can snipe Archeops with Wugtrio here. Which I think is what the backup plan will be. Well, they had Niono, that's fine. Bro's drawing so perfectly. That's actually so annoying. All right, whatever. All right, we got Wugtrio. Let's right, see what else they got. Did they get anything else? AKA Minchinos. No Minchinos. Okay. So we just go Greninja, Kale Lugia, put 90 on the other Lugia, I guess. And then it's like pretty much GG's. Because we can get the Wug Trio up too. Okay. Uh, bench that. Do I evolve here? I can't lose if I evolve. Oh, they have Radiant Charizard though, so they could technically win. So I actually don't put the, I don't put the thing in play yet. All right, well, Bibro first for two. Okay, nice. Because I didn't know if I wanted to do Spirit or not. I might just hold the hand, and um, I might just hold the hand. Right, we can't put Book Two in play because yeah, they could win with a Radiant Charizard here. The Luminous Energy does mean they're playing Radiant Zard, and they could play two Luminous Energy, so... On the off chance they have that, I should definitely play around that. We don't have game in hand, though. It's the only problem with holding the hand here. But I have Vessel. We can snipe something. We're close. A Prime Catcher Vessel. It's only two energy. I think I just hold the hand. Whatever. Sure. We'll hold. Do I even want to put 90 here? Should I, I could put 90 here, and I just need Prime Catcher 1 energy, 2 energy to KO this set of 3 energy. Or does it matter? Does it really matter where I put this? Put that there. So I, just, I can snipe the bench for a game. Yeah, I'll hit the Archeop, sure. Because I can snipe the bench for a game. And they can't win this turn. There's no way they can take 2 prizes. So we'll see how this goes. What's our 2 prizes looking like? Nice. Let's go. We're probably getting Ionoed again, though. Well, they are down 2 Ionos, so we'll see. We have Bibberl in play. As long as they're not playing, like, Counter Catcher, Prime Catcher, Iono, we're chilling. You just don't know with Lugia, though. That's the problem. You just don't know what Lugia's got. Kind of surprised we made it this far. I I thought we might have just got steamrolled. Considering my opponent had, like, the perfect turn one. They got, like, the perfect the perfect Luminion play and everything. But it's looking good for us right now. We'll see if they can keep up any momentum. If they Maybe I should have put 90 on the active. Because they mentioned Mancino anyways. We can just snipe it. I doubt they're going to put one down. They're down... We now 10 energy, actually. They still have a ton of energy in the deck. Hmm. They could attack with Radzard. I don't know. I think it was fine to hit this guy, because I just literally need one energy to KO it. So I think it was fine to hit the Archeops for 90. I need them to not have a Iono into a bad hand. I have game in hand, so I need them to not Iono me. We just have game. If they play double Luminion, they can't grab it with the Tomb. They do play double Luminous Energy. Look at that. Boom. Glad I didn't evolve in a Bug Trio. I guarantee they have boss in hand. Okay, no Iono, and that's game. Sick. Unless they... Uh, they'd have to fill their bench up and collapse this away, but I can also just kill the active. I can kill either active here with Bug Trio for game. Okay, I think we got him. We won. We somehow beat the Lugia deck. I actually didn't think we were going to win this game. I'm not going to lie. I, after their turn one, after the, the Serena, like everything just didn't didn't pan out how I wanted it to. But it ended up working out in the end. And we got the dub. So we can do this. Do this. And we're going to take a nice big snipe for game, bro. You just got Wug Trio'd. Nice try, Lugia. Not today. All right. Tricolor pump. Let's go. One, two, three. I'll just snipe Archeops. That's game. GG's. Close one for sure. Uh, the Radzard kind of makes this matchup tough. If I ever, if I ever had Wug Trio and play earlier, we definitely would have just lost there. They definitely potentially could just boss me for game. So we got lucky. Kind of wish I got Tomb earlier. Like I said, it would have actually helped. But honestly, the Palkia pressure early on was really good. They never got any other Chinchillas down. They didn't get a single Minchino in play, which was good. Even if they did, we had the Greninja going. All right, we're up against Iron Hand's future here. Uh, Could be a bad matchup. Palkia is weak to Lightning, which is not great. So hopefully it doesn't go too badly. We do get some extra cards, which is nice. Uh, we are going first, which is fine too. My opponent essentially gets the perfect start, though, 
to KO my poor Wug Trio. Oof, we prize Raiding Greninja. Not good. It's not great. Um, I also don't have another Wiglet in the deck. That's also not great. My poor Wiglet. No. I don't really want my Wiglet to die. Wugtrio is actually, like, somewhat of an okay attacker. I think we're going to have to retreat into Palkia and just pass. I don't want to lose my Wiglet here. That would not be ideal. So I want the Wugtrio. I don't know if, like, the Wugtrio is, like, super relevant in this matchup, but it isn't weak to Lightning, so it's, like, okay. Um... We'll see what happens. We can try to hopefully go after the Iron Hands next turn. My opponent can play around Iron Hands, so this is why I wanted to go Wug Trio. So I can Wug Trio snipe the Iron Hands here. Get some damage on it. Two shot it that way. I don't want to Iono them because they're like they have a two card hand. Ionoing them feels kind of awkward. Um, but we'll see what happens. We have Bibberol and stuff. I mean we have Giovanni's charisma, which I'm probably not gonna use. I don't really want to give him a free energy back, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. I mean, the mates have a research in hand, but Ionoing them essentially just gives them, like, a ton of new cards to work with, which feels bad. Yeah, this matchup, definitely not great for us. Wugtrio is the best attacker, but it doesn't do a lot, so we kind of need to we need to hold out hope. They have a one-card hand, so we definitely don't want to Iono them. But, like, what are the odds that one card is, like, a... Like a Mew or a Research. I, get, I guarantee you it's still like a... They probably have a Research in their hand. I bet you any money. But we'll see. What do we top deck here? Switch. Could switch in a Wug Trio here. Go back into it and then try to snipe my opponent. Might just go for it. I mean, at this point, I think we have to. I don't want to Iono, so hopefully we can get a good card here. No. Um... Don't want to play Giovanni. I could. I could Giovanni, Numbing Hold, knock out the Maridon. Is that even worth it, though? Like I said, I don't want to Iono. We could pump here for 60. Put 60 here so we can kill this. But they've already benched Pokemon. Honestly, I think I'm just going <laughs> to... I hate to do this, but I think I'm just going to go for the knockout with Numbing Hold. And just take our prize. I mean, they have a two-card hand. They have a Psychic and a Mystery card. I'm just going to... Whatever. I'm just going to take this knockout. Hopefully, we get Greninja or something on the prizes. Ooh. It's a pretty good prize. That's a pretty good prize. I'm not going to lie. That's a uh, very good prize, actually. Like, if they're bricking here, we can maybe figure something out. I don't know if I can thin my hand down, though, because I need to bib roll again and try to get more energy. But I can also Numbing Hold and two-shot the Iron Crown, maybe. That could be an option. Okay, we'll see what happens here. We will see what happens. Because if they are if they are bricking, we're chilling. Nope, I was right. They had a research in their hand. Yep. I was right. See, maybe I should have Iono. They had a research the whole time. They can't knock a Wug Trio out, though, which is good. That's kind of why I like going for that play there. There's a Mew. Ooh. That could be a good snipe target. We can actually knock Mew out with Tricolor Pump with three energy. There's Generator. Uh-oh. All right, best case scenario, they whiff a switching card here. And they can't move the Iron Crown. If the Iron Crown is stuck. That'd be fantastic. The Iron Crown being stuck here would be pretty good. Let's see it. Is it stuck? Do they have a switch or a future booster capsule? Ideally, they don't. But let's see it. Do they have it? Do they got it like that? They do not. Nice. Okay. So we can top deck something here, hopefully. Trevil. Not quite it. I still don't really want to Iono, to be honest. Um, still not a big fan of doing Iono here. They could have something in hand, though. They could have an Arvin, but, like, they're down two. Might just go Bibs for one, and then see what we get here. All right, we got Palkia. If I got an energy, I would have went for the Snipe there. Um, I'm kind of down to just try to trap him here and hope they'll have a switch in their hand. They can't knock out my active anyways. Kind of down. I'm actually also very tempted to not put Palkia in play. Because they can just knock me out. If they have a Prime Catcher here, they can just knock out my Palkia V-Star. And that's like... Because then we can evolve whatever they don't knock out. Okay, I'm down, I'm down. I don't know. I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. I don't know if I like this, but I'm down to just trap him here. And if my opponent doesn't have a future booster capsule... 
or a switch card, they just can't move this thing. They have to draw into something. And they could be bricking too. They could have a dead hand. They are down two Arvins, which is good for our cause. They can't use future booster capsule to move Iron Crown currently. So I'm kind of down. Like, I could have went Iono and then tried to get, like, three energy to snipe the Mew, which wouldn't be bad either, but it's fine. I actually don't mind the Mew being in play, because I can also KO it down the road. And it's more damage for Palkia anyways, right? Because we want to make sure we can use Palkia. Okay, they do have an Iono. It's fine. Let's we'll see if they hit a Prime Catcher here or a Switch Cart. Let's see it. Can they get it? Do they get one of the two? They need a Prime Catcher or a Switch Cart here. Can they find it? Future Booster Capsule? That does not work. That does not work. Do they actually not have anything? Because if they don't have anything, we can knock them out. And then we're in a pretty good spot. Techno Radar, that's fine. I don't know if they got it. I feel like they would have played a Switch card by now. But you never know. I'm not going to jinx it. They could have something. You never know. If they bench that too, that's more damage for us. Ooh, nice. Restart, that's fine. How many energy in the discard pile currently? Two. Honestly, we might go for the... I might just Prime Catcher here, knock out the Iron Hands. I think that's going to be the play, actually. Yeah, I'm very much probably just going to go for Prime Catcher. Assuming they didn't just restart into a Switch card. That would not be good. They did shuffle the deck, so it's not at the bottom anymore. Nice. Yeah, we're definitely... Ooh, nice. Great top deck. All right, yeah, we're going for the... We're definitely going for the Prime Catcher here, 100%. We're going to go... Do this. We're going to Nest Ball for Bidoof. We'll Ultra Ball. Grab a Palkia. We prized a lot of our basics, like Wiglet and stuff being prized. Kind of annoying, but whatever. It's fine. We'll Irida. Grab Palkia. It'd be better to go Prime Catcher Vacuum. But I want to play my hand down. So I could still, like... Realistically, I could still get the still get the playoff. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for here. If we get vacuum here, we're probably in a really good spot for the record. I don't know, maybe I should have waited to do the Irida, but we'll see. Yeah, no vacuum. Got super rod and tomb. Um may as well bench that just to fill our bench up and then we'll star portal. Alright, here we go. This is big. We're taking the first two prizes. It's still risky, though, because my opponent can still go... They can still amp my Palkia. Honestly, I don't know. Maybe it was better to kill the other in hand instead of killing the one with the heavy baton on. But like I said, if I got vacuum there, we would have been big chilling. All right, we got our prizes. What do we got? Iono. We're going to be tied in prizes. I mean, they could win in two turns, but we'll see. We can subspace swell, knock out this iron hands, kind of hope they don't... Have game the following turn. We do have an Iono in hand we can hit him with. We could also maybe get an Irida here, which could be pretty big. Okay, we'll see what my opponent does. I don't know if I can trap anything. They only have they don't have two future booster capsules. So if I could stall something to be active, I could snipe it with uh, tricolor pump. We knock out this thing though. All we gotta do is knock out one more Pokemon with uh, Wug Trio. And we probably just win the game. We can snipe something for game. So I need my opponent to basically not get a, another heavy baton and another iron hands. They could power up Mew, though, I guess, which is kind of annoying. I could attack with this guy. I don't know. Attacking with Trio feels pretty bad, though. I'm not sure if that's the play. If they get energy on Mew, they can Mew my Palkia and caught. Yeah, they can copy Subspace Swell, but that's not going to win them the game, though, so it's actually fine. Okay, they didn't get another in hand. All right, all right. So as long as they realistically don't build up another amp next turn, which I highly doubt is going to happen, we can probably just win the game by going Palkia into Trio. So I'm liking my odds. I'm liking my odds. And I probably... Do I really Iono here? My opponent, theoretically, like, realistically, they didn't do much with their hand. You know? I'm just going to bench that. Uh, Yeah, they didn't do much with their hand. So I don't even know if I want to Iono. But I kind of do, because I do want to make sure I can set up game next turn with, like, a superior energy retrieval. That's all we need. What are the odds What are the odds I own on them into... They've only played one generator, but they're down seven energy. They didn't do much last turn. They didn't even play a supporter, I'm pretty sure, right? No, they didn't even play a supporter. Giving them more cards feels bad. 
I mean, there's no way I'm going to give him an amp off of this, though. No, I don't know. It's fine. I want to make sure I can get into a, a retrieval. And this is probably... Yeah, there we go. We got... Ooh, we got the vacuum. Can vacuum... At this point, it doesn't really matter. I can vacuum away the future boost capsule. It doesn't really make a difference anymore. They have the Mew. Might as well. Doesn't really, that doesn't make a difference anymore. We just have game next turn. So we basically need my opponent to not pull off an amp this turn, and we probably just win the game. So that's all we need. We need my opponent to not have game here. They need to not hit four energy. They need two. They need a generator twice in order to KO me. So if they whiff the knockout, we should have game. All we have to do is just win with a tricolor pump or boss the Iron Crown or something. But realistically, we just need to go tricolor pump and we win. So I need my opponent to not have game here. I need them to not pull off an ampy very much. But they are down eight energy. They're down seven, seven, seven lightning. And they've only played one generator, which is the scary thing. But they are down a couple hands. They could struggle to find it. So we'll see. Like I said, we have a game on board in hand. We need my opponent to whiff here, though. We need them to whiff. Arvin, that's a good sign. That's a pretty good sign, actually. Even with Mew's ability... It's unlikely they can pull off enough energy to amp. They could counter catcher my Bibberol. They could try to go like double gust here, but I, I have game if they do that. I have Irida. I think Switch is in the deck actually. If my other Switch, if my last Switch is my last prize, I lose. Which it could. No, my last prize is Greninja. Yeah, they're grabbing counter catcher. Knew it. Okay. Our last prize is Greninja, I'm pretty sure. So thankfully we have the Switch in deck. Yeah, they have to they have to like try to gust gust twice and try to build up amp in two turns. That's like their win con, I think. But unfortunately for them, I do have superior retrieval and Irida in hand, so I can just guarantee the switch and the knockout with tricolor pump here. We can snipe either Mew or Iron Crown for game. How exciting, bro! Crazy times out here for Bad Deck Friday Wug Trio. Is it gonna be Bibberl or Palkia? Yeah, it's Bibberl, okay. All right. They can't disrupt my hand, so we'll see if they can pull off anything else. They don't really have a way to attack at the moment, so we'll see. Mm-hmm. Maridon. Ooh, interesting. Not to worry about that, though. Yeah, that, they can't win this turn. We should have a game here. I was, literally, my last switch should be in the deck. It's not prize. My last prize, I'm pretty sure, is Radiant Greninja, so... Should be GG's. Yo, winning with Wug Trio? Yeah. They didn't obviously have a Mana Fee because this deck didn't play Mana Fee. Cool. So let's see Irida for Switch. And that's GG's. Let's go. So we can Switch into Wug Trio. Retrieval. Hopefully they don't concede because I really want to do this because it's cool. <laughs> Please don't scoop. Let me try color pump you. Let's go, baby. One, two, three. That's a pump. You're not got the active Mew, which is pretty sick. There you go. That is the dub with the Wug Trio EX Pelke deck beating what should be one of our worst matchups. That's pretty awesome. You love to see it. Beating one of our hardest matchups always feels pretty good. And uh, there we go. We take those every day. Let's go. Okay, we're against Shen Pao, I'm pretty sure. Now, I don't know about this matchup, but one thing I do know is we have TM Devo and the ability to snipe their Friggy Baxes. And that might be the plan. Wow. Good Pokestop. Discarding two Iridas. That is pretty good. Yeah, I think that's our game plan in this game, in all honesty, is to, like, just snipe their Friggy Baxes. Try to, like, try to take out all their Baxcalibur options. That might be the plan. We can do that with Wug Trio. We can Greninja, too. We have options. Honestly, I might retreat Greninja into, like, a Wiggler or something. I don't want to Iono them. Okay, well, let me Concealed Cards. When am I getting at least one more basic here before? Okay. Yeah, so I'm thinking we just go into, like, a Wiglet for a turn. And then... Figure it out, I guess. I don't want to Iono, because they have a three-card hand, so that's, like, kind of... And they discarded two Iridas. Like, actually, no reason to Iono, so I'm just going to pass. Sure, because then we can go Pelkia next turn. Greninja. Other fridges, stuff like that. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. All right, they have a two, they have a Bibberol in hand and a Shempow, dude. I quit. That actually kind of sucks. They had rare candy backs, but they still might not have much else to work with. Okay, they have an energy, sure. 
And Iono. All right, whatever. That's fine. We'll see what we got. All right, that's okay. Decent enough hand, I guess. We'll see if they can knock out my Wiglet here. Let's see it. Can they pull it off? They do have the Pokestop, so all they need is a Shen Pao. I mean, that was a pretty good three-card hand. Rare Candy, Baxcalibur, Iono. That's it's kind of actually pretty bad. No, they got the Shen Pao. We can kill the Shampoo though with Palkia here though, if they do go for it. They can knock me out with Caliber, but we can kill the Bax Caliber. And like I said, we can try to play into like a de evolving game. Where you snipe the Bax Calibers with Wug Trio or like de evolve them or something. It would have been better to go first, but whatever. Okay. They lose a the Shampoo. They could iron hands me here, which actually could be pretty bad. And <laughs> if they get if they get iron hands, we could be in trouble actually. They're going to tail smash really now. Okay, yo, if they flip tails, this is huge. No! Damn. If they flip tails, I could have went knockout. Um, I could have just went Wug Trio. That's unfortunate. Uh, if counter catcher's in the deck, we can kill the back Excalibur here, which is what I'm going to do. So. Okay, let's see. Do we have counter catcher? Please don't be prized. That'd be great. Thank you. Nice. All right, so. So, so, we gonna we gonna play any day now, Nest Ball? Yo, don't bug out on me now. Thank you. Okay. Irida, grab Palkia, Counter Catcher. Do we we have Prime Catcher in the deck? TM Devos in the deck too. Okay, so we have our we have our outs. We have our outs. They're in there. The stuff is in there. Save the Ultra Ball. Maybe just save the Vessel. And I'm just going to grab Wiglet. Yeah, I'll save the... Save my Oats. I'm going to hold on to the Hangs. I can get Bibril next turn, which I kind of need. Hold on to the Energy, too. Just in case I have to go Wug Trio and snipe a Baxcalibur. Because I think that might be my win con, is try to just KO three Baxcalibers. Or just take out all their options to go Bax. So let's see how this goes. Switch off the prizes. Okay. Let's see if they can pull off a knockout. They're down two Iridas. So, like, hopefully they can. They're down two Iridas and a Shem Pao. What are the odds they can actually KO me here? Like, what are the actual odds they knock out Palkia? Honestly, probably still kind of high. I'm not going to lie. They probably still KO my Palkia here. But... We can hopefully Wug Trio them or something. We'll see. Or Prime Catcher KO their Baxcalibur. Just chase the Baxcalibur the entire game. That's the plan. All right, we'll see what they do. Super Rod, sure. Ultra Ball, that's not good. Okay, they are, they are drawing really well. Oh, but they lose a Rare Candy. Okay, yeah, now we're definitely chilling. We can... All we have to do is kill one more Baxcalibur, and I think they're just out of Rare Candy. Okay, this is really good. Oh, they had double candy in there. Okay, despite their lack of limited resources, they are still drawing everything they need. Good thing we know they are now out of rare candy. I, I mean, if they're playing four, that's a little awkward, but they should be out of rare candy now. So we have the ability to just snipe the Bax Caliber, and uh, it's looking pretty good. Like, that's our plan. Either TM Devo it or knock it out with Wug Trio or Prime Catcher it or something. We just KO the Bax Caliber. That's like basically the end of the game, I think. Hopefully. I doubt they're playing four candies. I You never know with the ladder, but I'm really hoping they don't have four rare candies. We'll see, though. There's another Irida. Sure. Another Frigibax. All right. Pokestop. Can't see Cologne. Mew. Okay, they're definitely not playing four candies. They're playing all these random stuff like Pokegear, Mew in the deck. They ain't playing... Yeah, they're not playing four backs. They're not playing four candies, I mean. And they actually, getting rid of the Frigi backs basically tells me they don't have it. So we're just going to Wug Trio that backs caliber. And that's probably going to be GG's. I don't know if I can get the Wug Trio, though, guaranteed. Might have to play Pokestop to dig a little bit for the superior retrieval. We just need to kill backs caliber, though. Either we're going to go TM Devo or so. Oh my God. What, dude? Where are they getting all this energy from? Reggie Drago, stay up on my ETB, bro. Maybe the... No, the snipe play. We can, like, trap Bibbrel, maybe. Hmm. It's pretty good. Okay, there's still short one energy to KO, like, uh, Baxcalib, or Wug Trio. Okay. It's pretty good. All right, well, let's see if we can top deck here. Canceling Cologne. Let me just... 
burn everything in my hand. We might not get it this turn. I mean, I kind of need to, though. Might need the vessel for two energy. Ooh, nice. I think that's, that's it, right? I think we got it. So we can do this. Yeah, we have enough energy. Let's go. We got the snipe. Insane. I think I missed sequence that too, which is kind of funny. But we got the snipe. Uh, should I pokey stop just to? Yeah, maybe we can keep the ultra ball around. Let me pokey stop. Okay, we lost boss. That's a little annoying. It's time we have prime catcher still. Do I just get rid of the super rod here? It's like an ultra ball for Palkia. I can rod next turn. No, I'll get rid of that. Sure. All right, double vessel. Let's go. It's a banger. It's a banger. Do I super rod here? Sure. I can do this. All right. Snipe their backs. And they currently can't knock me out unless they have some kind of wacky combo. But we can knock out the backs caliber with the Wug Trio. And it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Kind of clean up with Palkia. That's the plan. All right, we got Bidoof. Nice. That's pretty good, actually. We need another one of those. They could Prime Catcher kill my Bibberl here, which actually could be pretty bad. But they actually just conceded the game. And there you go. That was the strategy. It had to probably just be snipe their backs calibers. And it paid off because they lost that candy. And we were able to get there with the addition of the Wug Trio snipe. And uh, that was pretty cool and pretty clean. And there you have it. That is my Wug Trio deck in action for today's Bad Deck Friday. We actually use Wug Trio quite a bit in today's video. I'm not going to lie. It actually put in quite a bit of work. It is a really cool attacker, and it does have a decent type. I mean, being a lightning type isn't bad right now when you can use it against the likes of Lugia and Pidgeot EX. Overall, Wug Trio is a fun card to play. More of a Bad Deck Friday card, like I said. It does have a bit of a niche attack, but I think it did pair nicely with Palkia. I mean, it's Probably the best way you can play Wug Trio because Palkia is just a nice, strong attacker. Um, one thing I actually really liked in this deck, for the record, was that uh, Giovanni's Charisma. I don't know. Just having a way to get energy in play is really nice, even though you can use this with stuff like Greninja, too. So there are some cool plays you can make. The only card I maybe think about cutting is the one prize Wug Trio. It is nice to have against Control and Mill, potentially, as an attacker. But this is definitely, potentially, a cuttable card out of the deck. I'm not sure you need the one prize Wug Trio, but it is nice to have the option. Choose under Sea Tunnel in some of those niche matchups you can run into on the ladder. So it could be worth, you know, keeping it in. But it is the one cuttable card I can think of in the deck. Um, but yeah, that'll be for me. If you're the video on my Wug Trio Bad Deck Friday deck, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. How am you on the order reaching 58 or 59k subs if we're already there? Thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, thanks for all the support on the Temporal Forces content so far. I greatly appreciate it. Check out Card Cap and you get any codes. Use code LDF. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, the Shuffle Squad, and the second channel down below. And uh, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you all in another video. Bye-bye.